Hey guys, my name's Eric and I'm here today to show you how to smoke some salmon. Now, ever since my wife got me my smoker for Christmas last year, uh, people ask me, what's your favorite thing to smoke? And I, I mean, I've tried just about everything, but the one I get the most compliments on is the smoked salmon and it's relatively easy to do. So you just got a smoker, you're looking to do something different, or if you've never even tried smoked salmon, by all means, you better try this recipe. In fact, my, my wife's sister uh, made a couple batches. She's had it. She said if this stuff was illegal, she'd be a criminal. So um, believe me, you have to try this recipe. Anyway, I got these big uh, salmon fillets. I got around almost 11 pounds of salmon here. These things weigh around three pounds a piece. This recipe is really basic, but first, before we get to smoke it, we have to brine it. And very simple ingredients. You need regular dark brown sugar. You need some kosher salt. You need a little bit of garlic here, which I've already uh, chopped up, and finish it off with a little bit of uh, black peppercorn, okay? So uh, let me show you how we do this. We have to uh, cut the fish up, rinse it off in cold water, and get it ready for the brine, which we have to let sit in the refrigerator overnight. So check out how we do it right now. So really all you need to do once you uh, get the salmon out of the wrap is rinse it off with, with uh, as cold a water as you can have it. And then just, uh, you know, blot it dry with a paper towel. And you just want to kind of slice it into small pieces. Now when this uh, is sitting in the brine overnight, it's going to shrink significantly. It's going to pull all the moisture out of the fish. But uh, this is also part of the process that helps that smoke kind of soak up in the salmon, makes it so uh, delicious. So you have to take the good with the bad. <clears throat> so you can see I just cut it in these little slices here and uh, just around that size. And uh, I'll show you how to actually put it in a pan and apply the brine. All right, guys, I mixed the ingredients together. And basically you want to do three parts brown sugar to one part kosher salt you want to mix it all together you know you can always make multiple batches a little bit of black pepper and then a little bit of garlic the garlic of course is optional if you're not a big garlic fan you don't need to put it in there but you definitely need the sugar and the salt so basically very simplistic once you get that basic three parts sugar to one part salt you just mix it all together Kind of spread a little even layer out here on the bottom of the pan. Now, as far as the pan, you want to avoid anything metallic. You don't want to use aluminum or metal, stainless steel, which is what this is right here is fine. Or you can use uh, glassware or what have you. So you just want to kind of start layering the salmon <clears throat> individually like this. And we're going to put some more on top and we're just going to layer it in here. And you kind of get the idea but ultimately you want to make sure every little piece is covered and we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight and you're going to be amazed when you see it once it's done because there's no more brown sugar it all turns into a liquid so you see here you just kind of scoop some on top like this make sure all the fish is covered And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, here you see I have uh, all that salmon put in this trays with that brine mixture. You want to make sure, like I said, that all the pieces of fish are covered. And you will be amazed how this looks like tomorrow morning when we start this, uh, start this getting it ready for the next step in the process. But yeah, just, uh, Put it in a container, cover it up tightly, put it in the fridge, and tomorrow I'll show you the next step. Good morning. It's been 12 hours since I put these away. And let's take a look at them right now. You can see the sugar and salt mixture basically turned into a liquid. It sucked all the moisture out of this fish. So it's definitely smaller size pieces than what we put in last night. Uh, now let me show you the next step in the process. All right, guys, the next step is you have to rinse each piece off really good under ice cold water, as cold as you can get it. You don't want it uh, uh, 
dry it off with a towel or anything. Just rinse it off, lay it out on the smoker racks. Make sure to spray the racks with something so the fish doesn't stick. You can also use olive oil if you don't have any of this uh, spray, canola spray. And then I just put a little uh, black pepper on it. Um, now we just have to wait. We have to wait anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. What happens as this fish comes to room temperature, uh, it's going to start to feel sticky to the touch. And uh, there's a chemical reaction happening in the fish. I don't know exactly what it's called. But basically, when it gets sticky on the top, the fish is ready to absorb the full smoke flavor. So we have to do this very necessary step. Some people say you can leave it out up to three hours. Really depends on the temperature. They want it to sit out in a cool um, area. Sometimes put people put it in the basement or in their garage. You can put a fan on it to help speed the process up. Luckily today it's a little overcast. It's not that hot. So I'm just going to leave it here on the kitchen counter and uh, we'll come back in around 45 minutes to an hour and see how it looks like. Another thing you want to do while you're waiting for the salmon is you want to get your wood chips and get them soaking in some water so they'll smoke real good. I like the apple chips, particularly for the salmon. Uh, whatever wood you choose, try to use a, a, a lightweight fruit like cherry uh, or apple. I've had such great results with apple, I use apple. So make sure you get the, some of that chip soaked for at least uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So it's like perfect timing. All right, so it's been around an hour and it is perfect. When you touch it now, you can see it's, uh, it's tacky. It's definitely sticky. Your finger adheres to the, the fish. So this is exactly how you want it. So let's get outside and fire up that smoker. All right, guys, I have the Pro Series Smoke Hollow Smoker. It has these little trays for the wood. What I always like to do is put a little bit of dry wood in initially, and then I'll uh, grab some of the soaked wood. You don't want to put up too much. You want to have enough room for it to kind of smolder. And that's about it. Put the little cover on it. That way. And we're all set. All right, guys, I got the smoker fired up. I got a dual burner, so I lit both of them, get it up to hot temperature, put some wood in the wood chips, fill the water with warm, uh, the water tray with warm water, and uh, yeah, it's starting to smoke. You want to heat it up to around 250 and then kick it down. I turn one burner off, bring it down to around 190 to 200. We don't want to do it too hot. We want to try to allow the fish to absorb as much smoke as possible. So we want to keep the temperature as low as we can. So with just one burner on it, we should be okay. Right now it's right around 200. So we're perfect and smoke's just slowly starting to come out. So by the time I get the fish in here, we should be good to All right, go. guys, I got three racks of salmon in there. You always want to put the salmon as far away from the heat source because you just don't want to cook it too fast. You want it to absorb that smoke flavor. You can see, whew, I can't stand here for long because the smoke from the apple woods uh, is coming out the top chimney. You want to keep it open on the bottom and open on the top to allow that smoke just to absorb and allow to keep the temperature as low as possible. Right now it's around 150, but it's gonna climb up to around 180, 190. You want to cook it anywhere from say 180 to 200. Anything higher than 200, you risk on cooking the fish too fast uh, and it won't be as smoky. So you want to try to do it as low as possible. Um, typically, around an hour, I'll start checking it out. After that, it might uh, the bigger pieces might require a little longer, but the smaller pieces uh, will probably be done by then. You could just take a fork. It's very flaky. You'll, you'll be able to tell when there's no more translucent pieces when you break a, a piece apart uh, that it's uh, finished. So. We're ready to go. Just let it do its thing. We'll come back and check it in around an hour. Whew. Clear that smoke. Let's try it now. Ooh, gotta stand back. It's a little smoky. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, we want the temperature to be around 140. Just make sure it's fully cooked. It's gonna continue to cook a little bit. We just don't want to overcook it because then it'll dry out. Okay, we're 122, 23. Okay, you know what? Another good way to do this. I brought a fork out here. I'm just going to flake off a little piece. Oh, hey, the Grace. 
All right, let's see. Oh, it looks done. Let me check that out here. Oh my goodness. Delicious. It's done. Time to take it off. All right, guys, it's all done. I've had it sitting out for a few minutes here, cooling off. My wife, Monica, is going to try a piece here where hopefully you can see the consistency of it. She hasn't tried it yet, so go ahead, see how you like it. Wow, that's amazing. Perfectly smoked. So moist, it's not over dried. Daddy, I need to put in a drawer. Okay, we'll right. put it in a drawer. So this is absolutely amazing. It's very flaky and moist, which is, it, it just cooked perfectly. It's falling apart. The smoky flavor, it's not too overpowering. And definitely the garlic, I think, added extra flavor. All right, guys, we're all here. We're going to try the smoked salmon now. Just to let you guys know, too, this stuff, uh, you can put it in a plastic bag like this. It, it keeps in the fridge fresh like this for up to a week. If you put it in a, a freezer bag and put it in the freezer, it freezes wonderfully. You just take it out and let it defrost overnight in the fridge, and it tastes just as good as if it uh, just came out of the smoker. So everyone try a piece. Tell me what you think of this now. Mm. Oh, I think I died and went to heaven. <laughs> Out of this world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you guys ever tried the smoked salmon? I think that is fantastic. I think adding a little bit of garlic really added more flavor and it's not over, mm -hmm. it's not too much. Wow. That's the best you ever did it. I just mm -hmm. what I said. This is the by far the best batch you've made. All right, well. <laughs> I don't mm. disagree. It's very tasty. This is an addictive. Uh, very, this is very, very addictive. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to like the video. I'll try to get some more smoky videos up soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.